This is the Wrexham and Lager podcast. We all love Wrexham FC and we all love a lager. Welcome to the Wrexham and Lager podcast. Uh, we'll start off with an apology. We did tell you it would be every two weeks. The last one was six months ago. <laughs> um, but just before I start properly, I'd just like to address the elephant in the room. We've oh, got a little bit of you. If you wouldn't mind reading it out for me, James, before I introduce our guests. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, Is this off Red Passion? No, off the Red Poison. Oh, yeah, yeah. Red okay, Poison, James, yeah. James, read it out, please. It's because they have zero self-awareness and even less between their ears. <laughs> they are surrounded by similar imbeciles and are totally and utterly incapable of demonstrating any social skills or conducting themselves with any dignity in front of normal human beings. Hopefully, Darwinism will lead to their disappearance soon. But I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Do you know what, what I did, think what about that? What did they that? say about the rest of us, mate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you know what I think about that? <coughs> Bollocks to you. Right, anyway. There we go. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by Decor and more absolutely fantastic painters. Russ, uh, and he's got Ross and Gino. Great painters, great lads. If you want any painting work doing, get onto them. We are drinking Rexham Lager. We are in the world famous... Wrexham Lager Brewery. I'm joined, when he finally got here, by Tommy Kaus. You all right, Tom? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, it's a lot of traffic on that A55. Um, you know, our, our American viewers will know all about the A55 at rush hour. All so. right, Tom, it's not all about you. Yeah. And um, <laughs> he scored 47 goals in a single season. That season, he was the highest goal scorer in Europe, possibly Wrexham's best ever number seven, Psycho Gary Bennett. How are you, Gary? I'm good. I'm good. Pleased nice to be here. Yeah, nice one for coming down. I'm going to kick off with you straight away, Benno, because that's who everyone wants to hear off. When you first come to Wrexham, from that shite, <laughs> what's your first impression of the place? The ground, the makeup of the club? Um. I I'd, I'd always I'd always liked Wrexham as a, a club and I liked the stadium and the floodlights. Wow. Do you know Do you know and who doesn't have floodlights? Pardon? Do you know who doesn't have floodlights? Chester. You're gonna, you're gonna say Chester. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say Chester. <laughs> well, so they don't play night games. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? They're, they're not did he, like did guys, he put candles they? around the pitch? <laughs> 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 that video, yeah. okay. I think they do. Kind of they actually do. Okay. I'm not sure. It's when the weather's not against them. Like they keep going out, so <laughs> match abandoned. Oh, okay. Anyway. Okay. Okay. No, um, you know, I never, I never envisaged seeing myself playing for, for Wrexham at all, especially when I played for, for Chester, and um, you know we had we had some good games, and I, I scored two goals in the snowy and I knocked knocked Wrexham out in the cup, and. Uh, Not going to that please. <laughs> 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 and, uh, <laughs> no, it just it, it it was a phone call. It was a phone call, and. Uh, you know, uh, a certain Joey Jones for me, and uh, was it was it Joey Joey and Flynn that they made made your mind up basically? Um, do you know what? I just got a feel for the for the place uh, when I come and spoke to uh, to Brian. Um, he asked me to go to the Isle of Man. I've, I've said this story before. Um, they asked me to go to the Isle of Man. Yeah. Uh, Wrexham were playing in the Isle of Man, they were playing three games and they asked me to go on tour uh, for the three games and he'd give me a little brown envelope with 500 quid in and, um, and so I thought, yeah, that, I'll, I'll go and enjoy three days and uh, see how it goes and then they were going, say, on the Saturday and then on the Friday I thought, hang on a minute, if I go there and I get injured yeah. and break my leg or whatever, that my, my yeah. career is over for, for 500 quid and uh, so I didn't go. And anyway, Wrexham, Wrexham got beaten two games, didn't score a goal. And then the best result was nil-nil with the Isle of Man. And so they needed someone to score goals. And then they phoned me then and Joey said, come in and have a chat with us and, and let's see if we can sort something out. So I come in and I spoke to Brian Flynn and he it was a lovely summer's day, and he walked me around the pitch, the race course, yeah. and um, I just got a feel for the place. I don't know what it was. It was it was meant to be, wasn't it? And I mean, like I said, like I said earlier on, sometimes life takes you on these paths. 
if it had gone left this day, my life would have been totally different if than if it had gone right. Yeah. And uh, well, anyway, I walked through the race course doors, and he took me down the pitch, and I walked uh, along the border stand, and then in front of the cop, and the cop was open. Then obviously the ground was empty, and by by time we walked around the pitch. Uh, and we had a discussion and that, and I'd made my mind up by, by yeah. then I was going to sign for, for Wrexham and, uh, you know, I took the plunge and uh, it was a mad one really because I was, I was booed for the first. I was, I, was about, I was about to say to you because I was you booed for the first seven weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Num number seven, Gary Bennett, boo! Yeah. <laughs> Just because I played for Chester. Yeah. I played for yeah. Chester, I mean, yeah. I mean, you, they took some winning over, but now, I mean, I don't think you pay for the pint in any pub you go to with Wrexham, do you? Um, no, I always get a good reception at Wrexham, and I think I think the thing was because I, I decided to make a good go of it when I come here and 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 to give it hundred percent, and I think I think the fans seen that. The, if 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 a player gives it hundred percent on the pitch, yeah. that's you 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 have that all day, and I mean it, it's players that don't try or. Or, or toss it off or whatever. Yeah. You need you need you need players to give it hundred percent. And the, the thing you, the thing when you play and it was evident. You had that you call it the Joey Jones fist, don't you? And you were always you know what I mean. You yeah. Were always I was that, uh, and, oh. and that, the, 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 funny enough, I, I seen I was talking to Carl Conley briefly the other day, and we were talking about <clears throat> what it's been like watching that shower of shit we've had in recent years and that compared to the group you had, which was all in. It was fucking. You know what I mean? And that's. That's all you, as fans, all you can ask is you fucking give everything for that shirt. And I think you did it and it fucking, it clearly came off, didn't it? Well, I think, I think the thing is, I mean, you know, I've been a football fan myself and like, you are all football fans and what, and I, I don't know whether you can play or you can't play or whatever, but I mean, what would you give to pull on the Wrexham shirt and, and, and play? Yeah, and especially, definitely. especially you lads, you lads, your hometown club, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, you know, and, when I was on the pitch, I was I was a fan as well. If that makes any sort of sense, I mean, I I, I played like a fan, and uh, and I love scoring goals, and I loved the team winning, and and if we got beat, I was totally pissed off. My Sunday yeah. was ruined till twelve o'clock when the pub opened, and <laughs> then I then I went too bad. Then, yeah. you know. I just wanted yeah. to say, I think it speaks volumes though. Like coming from Chester, you played a lot of games for Chester. You really. You'd be a legend at Chester in your own right, really, as much as I hate to say that, because of what you did there. But they hate the fact that you've always sort of said, haven't you said, I'm Wrexham. And I think, am I right in saying you went to a legends night at, at Chester and you, you held your hands up and said, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm honoured to, to receive this, whatever, but <laughs> I'm Wrexham. But, like, is, is that true? Did you go there and say that? No. No, no. <laughs> you think that's, that's, that's an urban myth. No, but 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 but, but the fact. Off a but the, <laughs> yeah, but no. the fact is the fact. Fact is, there's no, no getting away from it. Wrexham's always been a far bigger club than than Chester, and yeah. always will be. And I mean, I mean. Yeah, drink to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> yeah, 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 cheers. <laughs> no, but I mean, get that in. <laughs> I mean, and especially what's happening now at, at the club. I mean, it's just just unbelievable. But Wrexham, Wrexham. Look at the stadium. Look at the fan base. Look at the the history of the the club. You know the players and you know European nights or whatever. It's it's it. You know, frankly, it pisses all over Chester, doesn't it? Yeah, no yeah, comparison. It's never really, is a there. true word <laughs> spoken. <laughs> so that magical season you had, Benno, was it forty-seven? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, forty-seven, but like forty-five for penalties. <laughs> hey, they all at the back of the net, though, didn't they? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I made them all as well. <laughs> well we I, I used to say on training, maker takes them. So, like, I used to get all the pens and so I took them, you know. Uh, we also used to like it if you went down in a box and you get up, look at the crowd and give us a little wink. Well, you know, there might have been one or two dubious penalties <laughs> amongst, like... I'm guessing like, at the back of the net, though. But, I mean, the thing is, if, if you touched in... You touched touched in the box you go down don't you so um you know but i'd lay i'd i'd i'd, I'd coach that to any striker you know and especially the way the game is now with var oh so my yeah, god I, I think i think the game's gone towards that a bit more now anyway hasn't it you know i think var is ruining the game really i mean the amount of time they take over the decision and you know is it a goal isn't it a goal yeah. looking at the line and all that and i mean i mean you know 
no one can really boo referees as much as they used to. You know, like some some of the referee performances were shocking, weren't they? But that was part <laughs> yeah. of the game. It was good, wasn't it? That's why where the song was, you know, yeah. these things. The game's gone nuts. Yeah, PC gone mad. Mm. How did you get the nickname Psycho? Well, funny enough, it was when I played for the club down the road. Um, Cam Druids. <laughs> 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 um, no, the thing was, um, unfortunately, I was involved in, in breaking a lad's leg. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, which was like it's football, isn't it, mate? And football, yeah. It's and I mean, thing, I mean, I wish, I wish it hadn't happened. Or, or but like I said to you before, you can never change your life or what path you went or whatever. And and I mean, before that, I was Millwall were looking at signing me, and I was supposed to be going to Millwall. And George Graham was manager at Millwall, and he had Fashion Newcastle Green and all that. So, yeah, yeah. God, you so players, well, yeah, I might have fitted in quite well, well there. <laughs> So you just don't know how your life's going to pan out, you know. So, um, and then I broke the lad's leg, and uh, but one of the one of the, the newspapers put a picture of, of, of Psycho out the movie, the guy who, who who killed the woman in the in the shower, mm. alongside a picture of me on the football pitch, pulling yeah. pulling like not the oh cutest of faces. God. Yeah, and in like, the moment, should we say? In the moment, <laughs> and it and it looked just like him. Yeah, and so. The the, the the press went to town on it and next minute I got the name Psycho and it stuck and then I think the Wrexham fans took it over because they knew it wound the it, Chester fans up that day. Yeah. It was they uh, were calling me Psycho. It, it was it was affectionate though. You know what yeah. I mean? It was it was always affectionate from the Wrexham yeah, fans. But, like, wasn't Rexham it? The fans used to sing um, <clears throat> Just the reject, you know, yeah. and like yeah. um, I think we still do to you now and again. Didn't exactly, you? <laughs> but, <laughs> but if 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 certain certain players would have like cowered under that and all that, you but too. like like do you know yeah, what I can I, I, I used to I used to put my thumb up to yeah. the yeah. Wrexham fans to acknowledge it, you know what I mean? But I, I knew I it was all in jest. It's funny know. enough, and there's no this this guy was nowhere near as a uh, Wrexham legend like yourself, but. The other one who came here, I remember, it was Gavin Ward, the keeper, and he embraced it, and the fans loved him. He was, oh, okay. he was an all right keeper. He wasn't anything special, but the fans loved him because he loved that. It, when they used to sing Chester Reject, he came from Chester. Yeah. He used to go like that. He embraced it, and like, you did similar, didn't you? And yeah, yeah. It was that was, you know, that was probably part yeah, they, of what they, made you an absolute legend here, wasn't it? You know, the yeah. fact that banter, like, you, yeah. you you had that link with the fans. Yeah. The fans. I they mean, could I, see. I, I remember. I mean, I, I remember after getting accepted, let's say, um, as a Wrexham player, getting accepted, um, I missed an open goal, and uh, I screwed a shot wide, and it was a terrible miss. And uh, I went back and I, I patted the pitch down, so I blamed the pitch, and like all the fans started laughing. Anyone else would get slaughtered <laughs> for the miss? <laughs> but I thought, right, I'll blame the pitch. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> do you know what I can rem I remember? Because it used to ring on the race course, cycles, and I can remember when I was young and I went to a game on my old man, and I used to stand on the chair to give it all that. So it's a bit of a privilege to be interviewing you right now, to be honest, mate. Well, you can do it now, then. Go on, then. <laughs> get, on that chair, no. <laughs> yeah. get on that chair now. Get on that chair. It makes me a bit taller anyway. It's still going to be six foot then, <laughs> wouldn't it, on a chair? <laughs> Leads me to my next question. I think I know the answer. I think everyone knows the answer. Who's the best player at Wrexham you ever played with? The best player I ever played with at Wrexham? Craig Skinner. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I got you there, burn, didn't I? Burn. Uh, <laughs> no, it's it's gotta be it's gotta be Carl Connolly on it, look at I mean Evening I mean, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Craig. Sorry about that. Um, Good he, wore right. number, he wore number seven as well, you know. Yeah. Uh, fucking hell, you got me on the hop there, then. <laughs> um, oh. No, um it's gotta be Lugger, and I mean I mean Lugger, I mean, he wasn't a footballer, was he? You know, I mean, he's had, he'd have his shirt out and, and yeah, like, it was out you know, he was, he was like, like <laughs> skinny, like that piss wet through with a Wrexham kit on and then you give him the ball and it, it just stuck to well, him and he just... Like, like I was saying to James before, he's a type of player, if he got the ball on the wing, in their half, he's running at them. And, he, and people get off their seat because he expects, he well, expects see, what's going to happen. You see, the thing about... It's excitement, isn't the it? Thing yeah. like, Think about Carl or whatever, and probably he, he might say the same about me. Hopefully, um, <laughs> you know, you go away from home somewhere and you've got a tough game, and the fans say like Cardiff, like where where it's tough to go, whatever. Yeah. And um, 
you know, you look around the dressing room and who can I rely on today and all that, and, you know, it always, Carl had week in, week out, yeah. didn't matter where he was. It, it, it was, it was week in, week out, 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 it was like, and I mean, hopefully Carl would look over and go, you know, Ben O' might get us a goal or whatever, yeah, you need people like that in the absolutely. dressing room where you're thinking, who will do it today here at a place like this, you know, and, you know, it's, it's pissing down, it's cold, the Almost, fans, almost like you're going into battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah like it's, going into yeah. battle, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what was your, what was your favourite Wrexham match ever? <laughs> my my favourite with you, it was a bit before my time, but I le I watched, I've seen the YouTube video about 4,000 times this week, I think. Cardiff, Welsh Cup final. Uh, I was watching it with a, uh, well, absolutely that, 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 amazing. That, two goals, wasn't it? Was it two? Yeah, that, that's up there because like, I mean, was I wasn't, I wasn't a lover of Cardiff as, as, I don't think the supporters are nice or whatever and, 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 and you've always got the North and South divide and then they've always had the privilege of like the press or whatever and all that and the, and the capital or whatever and and you know so we went into the we went into Cardiff backyard. itself and into their backyard and beat them on their own patch and I scored two goals and um, you know I remember I'd scored 47 that season and them two were like like made it 47 and but I remember the end of uh, 20 minutes ago I was absolutely I was I was done in I was finished there was nothing left in the tank mm. and I mean I played 65 games that season and I just wanted the game to finish and get on the plane because we went to Magaluf the next day <laughs> but, but the thing was in the dressing room before the it's game superb. I said to the lads I said listen would Magaluf was already booked because we got to the World Cup final we'd had a good run on the mm. cup uh, we'd yeah. been to Man United and that and the club had decided to take us to Magaluf. And I just remember saying to the lads in the dressing room, I said, listen, we're going to Magaluf tomorrow. Do you want to go on to Magaluf and get with a defeat behind us? It's going to be shit. I said, let's go out and do the business. And anyway, we did. And uh, we done it in our own backyard. And, awesome. You know, um, but that was up there. But if I was to pick my favourite was... Uh, I'd say Northampton away when we got promoted yeah, because absolutely because yeah. I knew what it meant to the people of of, of Wrexham that and was something else, and to it? see that many fans there on a Tuesday yeah, night and yeah. it was my first season here. I just I just uh, got a free transfer from Chester. Mm. Chester went that way. We went that way. And I remember sitting in the dressing room and like I was thinking, yeah, I've achieved something here. You know. I bet you thought this is the best decision I've made. Um. Well, it, well, I did, I did then, but I didn't for the first ten weeks when I got booed. <laughs> it's the best yeah, decision. Do do <laughs> Jesus, I think there's that famous picture of you know, when you're in the net, in the white yeah, kit. Yeah, you know, like, in that Northampton game. Yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah. fucking brilliant, mate. Awesome. Yeah, I just, I, I just had a fantastic, fantastic rapport with the fans, and I mean, I mean, and you still they have. were behind me, and I was behind them, and you know, you know, it was just, I don't know, I mean. Um, Throughout your life, you can have like like girlfriends or whatever and all that, and there'll always be a special one. Won't you can have be a chance like, to be a know, fine thing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I love though is like even kids She's and youngsters now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still got that in there. <laughs> youngsters and stuff now, Gary. I mean, you're, people who who would never have even seen you play, they all know Gary they know Bennett. You, people yeah. in Wrexham, there's, yeah. there's kids 12, 13 years old. They know who Gary Bennett is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that that must be amazing. That feeling, you know, obviously, yeah. to. You're talking what? Twenty-five years on since, well, since I you don't left know. the club. I, I, I don't know, but like obviously Tommy Bamford, the all-time leading goal scorer yeah. of Wrexham's history, whatever. But like you know, but I'm post-war, and um, you know, I'm happy to all that, and I, I don't think it will get beat them them forty-seven no. goals, whatever. No. But saying no. that, no. but saying that, I, I would love Paul Mullen to do it. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, well, because we're going to go on to this probably because. You were to talk a bit about good segue, Yeah, right? yeah, obviously, probably good. you're probably our most famous striker from Liverpool. You know, what do you think of him? He's, he seems to have bought into the club like you did. Yeah, and well, you I, can I, see the passion with him. I haven't, I haven't seen him yet live, and but like, I've seen, I've seen his finishing. He scored, he, he scored, oh. a go, he scored a goal where he just went to the side of the keeper and he tucked it in. Phenomenal finish, isn't he? I scored a goal against Crew once that broke away and went round the keeper and, and it was exactly the same as that and I thought he's got a bit of me in him yeah. and yeah. and you know um I like that. I like that and uh, and he's a scouser as well, isn't he? Exactly that's what I mean. So it's... he's got a half a chance. 
He's, uh, he's just seems spot on. I mean, uh, what was it? He was arguing with some of the fans when we questioned his passion. Yeah. And I don't think you can because but you know what? every that, game, but every game. I bet they're on red passion. I, th I think, it, to, be, to be fair, I think it was a misunderstanding. From what I can gather, they weren't questioning Paul Mullin. They were questioning the team. They weren't questioning Paul Mullin. Yeah, but I'd, I'd had that before. I'd had, yeah, I'd had yeah. arguments yeah. With, 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 with fans and all that. But, like... That proves he's a winner. Exactly, yeah. yeah. The fact, so which the fact is that good. And uh, I, ch I chatted to him after that game, and he, 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 he was he was absolutely fuming with how that game went. Yeah. yeah. Because it was in his backyard as well. I yeah. think he lives a mile down the road, less than that. Um, he was gutted as well. Now, you know, you get you get all the non-league fans and stuff, the jealousy and, and people saying stuff like, you know, he's here for the money. This guy's not here for the money. No, no. He's not. Hey, the money's although, a nice. It's a nice sweetener. It's a lovely sweetener. Though. It's a lovely sweetener. This guy, he's, he, he's, he's here proper. He, he's he's invested. I think he's invested in it. And I, I put someone up the other night. He's not here to fuck about him. No, I'm telling you right now. But you know what? But the, but the game's totally different now. So so like, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say he's not here, uh, not for the oh. money. But like the yeah. game's totally different now. And I mean, um, but when you're a footballer, and you go out on that pitch, it's not in your head that no. you're on like no. 180 pound a week, or say seven grand, 11 grand, whatever you want to say, but uh, that's not in your head when you're on that pitch for 90 minutes. Yeah. It's not. It's not. They want to win, doesn't it? It is when you get your wages on a Thursday, but it's not. <laughs> it's not when you go out on that pitch. And I mean, when you go out on that pitch, you know, you, you want to win, and it uh, and and it's in there, and you've got to show that passion yeah. on the pitch. Yeah. It seems very much like yourself, doesn't it? Like the goals. He, he, I mean, yeah, he, he, he it seems shows and, to me. and and his runs. He's clinical, yeah. isn't he? He does. He does like like runs in behind and whatnot. He, he, I, I've seen little, and I think I can see a little bit of bit of me in him as well. He just yeah. needs um, quite a lot. A few people have questioned the midfield, haven't they? Which. I, I mean, I've, I went to Solly, I've been to a few away games now, and he's he's pulling away, but they're not finding him. It's like he's, he's, no. got, he's coming deep, and he's like he's hunting the ball himself. He needs that player to be well, fucking... You see, yourself had Carl, he needs someone of that Carl, or someone like that. <clears throat> so just... Well, you see, when I played, it was it was geared. Everything in the team was geared to, to me. Yeah. How we can... Get me and yeah. or whatever and down the sides or whatever it was it was it was I was the yeah. final finishing touch of yeah. of of like you'd work all week and yeah. it'd all be to sort of get me in. And, I, I don't think they doing that. Maybe 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 Wrexham will have to do that. I mean, I think so. Tom, I you've, think you've, absolutely. You've been to every game uh, before we go in, before we go into that. Let's talk about your new job. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. thank you, mate. Thank you very much. You're amazing as well. Thank you. Can I just say, I, I like to take the piss out of you more than anyone because... Yeah. So what's well, the new job? It's going to be... Uh, he's, he's a daily post. He's yeah, a daily I'm a journal, post, mate. Oh, I'm fantastic. a journal. Yeah, Ooh. cheers, Gary. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and do you know what? I, I think you're the breath of fresh air because thank I listen you. to you and you'll ask the questions that other people won't ask, mate. Thank you. Which is, you know, which I like. You know, you praise when they win, and, but I think you, I think you've pissed Parkinson off a few times. Am I on it? You know? I think so, yeah. Hopefully. You pay, oh, <laughs> no, I mean, you know, the thing is, what, what I will say he's is... He's fuming with you. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuming. Tommy, <laughs> tough <laughs> questions, he calls. You know, <laughs> Tommy, oh, oh, no, yeah, it's Tommy, yeah. tough it's, questions. It's, it's, it's honestly from your Tommy. It's like you're asking for, you know, I think you asked the right questions. And it, I, I, for me personally, and I think a lot of fans will agree, I think it's very refreshing. I do, mate. I, I honestly that. do. I'm yeah. waiting for the punch because, time here, no, mate. Because, I don't because, know what you're not going to get one today, mate. You're not going to get one. Because you're a fan, it obviously shows through and through that you know, yeah, I want these answers. Yeah. The same as the rest of us. Mm. So it is actually good just to not have someone covering Wrexham, to have a Wrexham fan covering yeah. Wrexham. I mean, th that's that's the way it is. Um, I'm as frustrated as anyone at the end of the game. Like, you know, you, you've, you've got to try... And I, I'm new to this job. I've never done anything like this before. So it's all... It's, every day's a school day, but... What was your former job again? Um, yeah, I used to make cheese. Right. Yeah. That's, uh, those were the glory days. Mate. Glory days. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the name Kaus comes from. There you go. Yeah, well, funny um, enough. Yeah, funny enough. Funny it's enough. not just, it's nothing to do with personal hygiene or anything <laughs> like that. It's, you know, right. I've got some questions oh, for you. In a bit. It's, a, it's a quiz. Let's talk about my job first. Right. <laughs> go on, talk about your job. <laughs> Did you get any cheese on your tash? No, you? no, I tried to, Gary. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks well, thanks well, for bringing well, that well, up. That's a good segue. Well, I've got your moustache. Oh, thank right. you. I don't need it, mate. We're sick of watching you trying to grow one, mate. We're sick, we're sick to the fucking back teeth, Tom. Yeah, well, you know, we can't all look like David Brent, mate, can we? So, you know what I mean? James, you give me the task, mate. 
<laughs> Come on, let's get this tash on you, mate. Go on, Ed. Right, please. Seems we've got nothing but two well, army. While he's, he's got a fake tash while on he's doing that, so we're not uh, filling the place with dead air. Um, yeah, no, I, I, uh, I... Thank you. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. That's a lot better, isn't it? Oh, thank you. God. That's staying on for the remainder of the show now as well. Um, <laughs> I bet Red Passion will love this, will he? <laughs> Yeah, you it's. Look, you look distinguished. I've got to pretend I'm a journalist now with this sort of thing. You've been pretending. Leave me alone. Whoa, whoa, I'll put it back whoa, on whoa, 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 I'm going to talk seriously. I'm representing <laughs> the brand here. Yeah. Um, no, going back to your question before. Yeah. It's, it's tough because after the game, I'm as frustrated as anyone. You have maybe yeah, 10 yeah. minutes, it's quarter of an hour after the game. And, you know, you, you'll know Gary, obviously, you know, you, you would have been a player, I'm guessing, in demand by the media after games and stuff like well, that. That's why he's here, mate, because he was a player. Well, yeah, no, a player in demand with a mid. <laughs> the player. There we go. But, yeah, so basically what I'm saying is after the game. But what I've got to say about Phil Parkinson, and you've got to remember, these guys now, these days, perhaps not so much in the past, if you don't mind me saying so, but these days, everyone, even at Tier 5 level, which we're in now, they're media trained and they're, and they're all... You don't get the honesty that perhaps you would have got back in the day. But um, there's probably. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, I, I, I don't know if you find you think that's true, you Gary, know, or not. That's, that's because no one's allowed an opinion anymore. Absolutely. You're not allowed Absolutely. an opinion. Yeah. If, you, if you've got an opinion and you have to think twice about that opinion Absolutely. before you say anything, Definitely. which is like. Well, that was, wow. that was one of the ideas behind. Because we're all very strict talkers, I think you probably would have noticed by now. And we wanted you know, some great like, feelings and devotion and stuff. You know, we bring out some great content, you know. Yeah. Um, but we're just that step. We all say things where they wouldn't because they got a bit of decency about them. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're, like, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's you're dragging us down here. What I'm trying to say is, <laughs> it's a pub chat, isn't it? And we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll be honesty and we'll say maybe things that others won't. Mm. And if people like that, they like it. If they yeah. don't, we'll fuck yeah. them. What, what I will say though, I mean, like Phil Parkinson, he never shirks anything. I think I, I went straight in and it was the Grimsby game, the first game that I did, and we lost 3 1. And it was a, it was a disappointing night. Um, and I felt that I, what you were saying before, Gary, and I absolutely 100% agree with you. I think at times you can see uh, you can see the quality of like a Paul Mullin. You can see how good this guy is. Oh, you can. Now, now you can. I, what Gary said is absolutely spot on. I think we should be like what we did with Gary Bennett. We should be building our team. Towards let's, him. let's. This guy's that good. I, I think he's yeah, a championship yeah, player. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, I think I, he's I, at I least agree. League One. Let's try and build our team around his strengths and let's try and get him in the game. There's games, Sean, I've seen, where he's maybe only touched the ball ten times in well, a game. And yeah, I know that's, that's a striker's job, you know, Gary will tell you, but no, they, can't, they can't get it to him and they can't include him so much. And it's like, yeah. are, you, are you a bit puzzled why Dave Jones hasn't played more? Yeah, because probably I, am. I probably I, am. I think he's, he's a guy who can unlock doors, yeah. he is. I know he's knocking on and off, but... Well, the, I, I, know. Wonder, I wonder, you know, obviously he had that sending off, didn't he, against... Um, he, gets woke he said the manager doesn't trust him, and, and I don't get it because he's... Dave he's, Jones said that. No, no, I feel like the manager doesn't trust him. Um, and I feel like he's done it at every level. He's, com he's got a composed head. Yeah. Uh, and if anyone's going to thread that ball through, it's him. Mm. You yeah, know? he's played yeah. at a decent level, and he's a good playmaker. Uh, but he, yeah. you, Try and he, get he's that. played for United, he's played for uh, Burnley, mm. um, Derby, real big clubs, and, he, you, you know, yeah. um, I, I just think we're, we're missing a bit of that. Even when they lose the legs, players, of that experience, they can still... You know, pick those passes and out, and they can see that. Thirty-six. Well, that's all fucking ages. You know what I mean? You I mean, if you look after off. yourself, you play till forty now, can't you? These like these guys. Well, you know, they, Gary, they what do you think of Phil Parkinson? What what you know about him? Um, believe it or not, I, th I, I think he's the right man for the job. Uh, but like, it's not going to happen instantly. But no, like, no. You know, it, you can't just throw. A bunch of lads together, and it doesn't. It, yeah, and you need you need you need a bit of luck, and you need one thing and another. But I still think he's the man for the job. I do. I, I said yeah. that. I said that the other night. I do. I think I, I like. Uh, I mean, that long ball and, and one out of you and, and the shape. You know, I think he saw this pride a bit there, and he's like, right, we'll switch it up a bit. And I like that. And like you said, he's this guy's proper. He's got good pedigree. And he does the interviews, he shirks nothing. I doesn't mean, shirk anything. And I mean, you no. fucking but piss him off, this, yeah. this, this is probably the hardest league to get out of. And we oh, know that. Yeah, anyway. yeah. It's and difficult I mean, to know the league, I mean, isn't it? some of the grounds you go to, and that, you've got to lift yourself up for the, you know. But really, with the, with the fans behind and, and whatnot, what's happening at the club and all that. But the problem is, the problem is, everybody wants to beat Wrexham now. 
Yeah, that's absolutely. the problem. Yeah, it, it's, and, and they it's come, every team's they, cup final. They, 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 they come the to the race course. course and they go, "Wow, this is." It's yeah, a cup final. Yeah, absolutely. and I mean, I mean, I've, I've been in that situation when I've, I've come here and like I've wanted to turn turn Wrexham over, and you know, so that's that's what it's like now, and uh, it's the team everyone wants to get get beat mm. from the outside looking in because the way the club's going and the, and and the lads that have took over and you know the media spotlight and it's on Wrexham yeah. big time lot, and the sponsorships teams, and whatnot you know a, a lot, lot of jealousy out there a lot of teams come to the race course yeah. and it's, it's and they just stifle us you know we get getting the ball and, and you can guarantee the manager's team talk is like turn the crowd first you know what I mean mm. get get these on their back yeah but the, but, but the thing is when you've got a quality striker like Mullen it'll always get you a goal yeah. So, oh, yeah. so so you work to that assumption that we're going to get him in yeah sometime in the game and he will get us a goal or two yeah and i mean uh, no matter who you're playing and what style of, of of play they set up to do yeah you know let's work around getting getting i think the frustration sean as well i think uh gary's absolutely spot on with what he says uh, i think uh, i like him he keeps saying I'm yeah 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 spot on. Spot on. <laughs> yeah yeah but um, he's all right for a chest of bastard an eagle guy. <laughs> he's, he's got a gary bennett t-shirt like under there yeah. like that, yeah. <laughs> but um, i'm gonna go and shave my head when i get home as well gary <laughs> <laughs> Shave that excuse for the moustache as well. That's right. awful. He's got a number seven tattoo on his ass. I, yeah, yeah, I have, but yeah, yeah. Fantastic. But uh, no, um, <laughs> I, I'm going, I can feel myself going red now. I'm not going to tell him he's right. I'm going to tell him he's wrong next time. I think time. you look great. Uh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think I think what it is. I think that the fans can see that, that there is the makings of an excellent side here. We've played really yeah. well. Barnet last Saturday was a fantastic away performance. Yeah, I remember it was you brilliant. Me, yeah, brilliant. It was brilliant. It was, yeah. it was the well, perfect you know away what? performance. You know what? I was thinking after that game, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. We're ready to take off. Here we go. Let's string four or five wins together. Yeah. We'll bang up there. And, yeah. and then we get... The defeat we got against... Um, I mean, Maidenhead. Obviously, yeah, the Maidenhead defeat. Maidenhead. Yeah. Yeah. Owners have come... Yeah. Come there the first yeah. away is that, game. Yeah. Is that and I mean, typical Wrexham fashion, that? Well, yeah, it is. Well, get, well, get used to it, Robin. Well, Ryan. yeah, but we've got to, <laughs> we've, we've got to get away from that now. And, yeah, and, and, yeah. And, but you can't. You've got no right to win a football match. There's no, no, you're no to defined it, no. right to, to win it. a football match. It's 11 versus 11. Who wants it the most? Who's, who's going to try the hardest, whatever, tactics as well. And, uh, you know, and, and, and there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, mm. you know, when I... When I used to drive to the race course, I knew I was scoring. Yeah, I yeah. knew I, I was. Yeah. I was. My confidence was that high, and when mm. your confidence is high, it's and like I was driving, I knew I was going to score. Like you uh, said, you said that earlier, you know, that the team was built around how how can we get you in? How can we get you these goals? Like obviously you're a good yeah, goal was, scorer, yeah. so it like was. you say, you've got the confidence. Right, these are behind me, and they're going to get yeah. me in. Mm -hmm. Preparation throughout the week, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get a goal. Yeah, and. Most of us, a lot of the time, we do think Mullin is going to get a goal. Like you say, yeah, yeah, even yeah. if we've played bad, somehow he gets a goal. Yeah. So, just get him in. Just give him the, the ball. I, I give do, him the ball. I do, <laughs> do want to say about... Tactics him. for James Simmons. <laughs> give Mullin the ball. Feed him the ball. <laughs> we brought it back to 2-2 two -two the other night, and you're thinking, yeah. fucking hell, this is, this is... Hang on a minute, ten men. This is what Wrexham's all about. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's showing that fucking fight, and I thought, fucking brilliant. Mm. And then I think I think I've seen... I've seen Paul Mullins interview and he's like, if anyone was going to go and win it, it was us. Mm. And then they've gone and scored. But mm. still, I think they've got to take a lot from that because yeah, yeah. they come back from 2-0 down. Yeah, perseverance. And you thought, right, but like, I think Mullins touched on it himself. Let's fucking start the game like that. Mm. Let's not wait for 10 and down back against the wall. Why don't we fucking take, you know, three sheets to the win? Let's fucking go for it. Yeah. You know. Um, and I want to touch on the crowds now at, at home. I mean, fucking hell. But Gary, did. what do you think of... Uh, Five and a half thousand season tickets, and I think we're happy to cap it in the end. I think, no, that's it's fucking. Got, I think it's gone up from that, isn't yeah, it? Over six I mean, now. that's that's unbelievable. I mean, I mean, I mean, even just driving here, then the amount of people I've seen with TikTok shirts on, you know, it's and fantastic. Like, it, it's it's just um, you know, it's just ready for takeoff. But we, it's all got to happen together, hasn't it? It's got to happen on the pitch as well, and off the pitch, and everything's got to be, you know, and. It's it's a difficult one, like I said to you. Everybody wants to beat Wrexham, so you know yeah, the, if uh, all these lads that are playing for other teams in the in the conference, first game they look for, they'll go Wrexham. Yeah, oh, a lovely yeah. stadium, and like uh, they've got they've got um, Rob and and, yeah. and Ryan, and you know 
these Hollywood stars or whatever and all that, and everyone wants to beat Wrexham. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're, we're, we're going to have to live with that and, and counteract that and, 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 and one way or another start winning football matches. Yeah, because fa fans are very fickle, aren't they? Well, yeah, fans are fans, aren't they? Yeah, so a uh, lot of the ones that have come over from like that usually United Liverpool fans have started watching Wrexham. If yeah. you don't start getting those results, they can very easily start going back. Exactly. And exactly. which we don't want. We, you know, we want to get more. Yeah. Like you said, the kids walking around and everyone's got a Wrexham shirt on. That's yeah, amazing. But don't forget, to me, don't that forget. Is. Yeah, yeah, even 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 just even just seeing the, the two owners at the at, at at the club this week or whatever, and I mean. They're all geared up for success. Well, we, we, oh, were, yeah. we were luckily enough the other night we got invited and we got to drink with but, him in the but, turf. But, but <laughs> they might He's been dying to bring that one no, up. No, but they, well, they, well, might get, they, might, they might get bored of waiting for the success, which yeah. is like, you know... Uh, but I, I, just, I just want to say I about don't those know about two. Speaking to Rob the other night, he seems someone who's very, yeah, very Yeah, but this is the committed. honeymoon period. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, we've got to... He, he does, we, we, do, we do seem... Very, very commit, very fucking nice chaps. First and foremost, oh, yeah. very, very business minded. No, but minded. The, the, the thing, and, and, the and, thing, and they're determined. The thing I've seen, the thing I've seen to notice is like how down to earth they are oh, and they yeah. communicate with fans and all. We're talking about Hollywood stars here. You know, we're not talking about like, it, we, like we were like shocked. I, th I think you're spot on, Gary. I think you're spot on. Once again, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we, uh, we ended up having a drink with myself and uh, Sean and. Uh, Straight away, it's like exactly like this. It's the first time I've met you. Fantastic yeah. lads, really are. Conversation really are. straight away. They're exactly the same, yeah, down yeah. to earth, almost like council estate kids. And yeah, also, yeah. They, they, they like to have a laugh. Yeah, and uh, you know there was humour involved with the actual uh, deep conversation. No, but humor. you could say you could <laughs> yeah, but you could say that like like the down to earth lads and they, and and they like to have a laugh and all that. But I'm telling you something now. They will want success. Yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah. Mean, all they do. I mean, all they do. Yeah. The, uh, and I mean. You heard him talking yesterday. Why not the Premier League? Oh, I love that. Yeah, exactly. Why not? Wigan years yeah, ago. Yeah, but why not? Yeah. Why yeah, not no, the no, Premier no, League? Absolutely. And I mean, I mean, you everyone can go dream, like, you? wow, What's you're having a laugh. Otherwise? You're yeah. having a laugh. But hang on a minute, Cardiff has wanted being yeah. in the Premier League. No, no one yeah. dreams of getting yeah. to League One, do they? <laughs> do you remember? No, no, Bournemouth, you know, it'd be Bournemouth, great to get into League Two and in the Premier League. Let's dream. Brentford are in the Premier League. Brentford, you know, why not? Wigan. Remember they got bought by their owner ten years. He got into the Premier League. There you go. T ten years. There you go. Really, that's a long time in anybody's I life. I but it's not a long time in Wrexham's life. No, you know, if, no, I think no. if anyone's going to do we, it, it's these guys. If we build yeah. it, if we, if if I we start building the foundations, I mean, anything can happen. And I, and I tell you what, and I mean, they they can get the crowds here at Wrexham, no yeah. problem. Yeah. Yeah. No I, problem. I, I, I mean, mate, you, you, they, they can get twenty, twenty-five thousand. I mean, no problem. Just look at the effect they've had already. You exactly. know, I mean, like you said before, all the TikTok responses. You, you know, I, I mean, the, the first when he first bought the club. No, but I mean, look, they're, they're on FIFA. <laughs> oh yeah, on FIFA. Made, best of, made best of Ned world. United beat them like three <laughs> two. Hang on a minute. I'll tell you what, Mullins banged them in for me. They're a club on FIFA. on FIFA, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is but they, they, when he got bought the club and he did that video and he said, "You might not have heard of Wrexham, but you will do," mm. and and they're true to their word. You know, and like you say, you know, I mean, we were just shot. We were shot in bloody um, aviation gin, aviation whiskey, gym, and, and yeah. I wasn't. It was only. To, it was only till after I got home. I thought, fucking hell, we've just been drinking with movie stars because at the time you don't feel like I mean, it's just like they're just real, real nice guys. That it just shows how comfortable Seriously. we were to be uh, drinking with them. Like yeah. uh, Ryan Reynolds, biggest movie star in the world. No, yeah. no two ways about it. He's the biggest movie and star. This fellow here pret pretending to uh, not know his name and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, I was all back anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, that's the running well, joke, you know. isn't it? No it was good, it was good, the it was running, funny. The running joke is... Pe people who didn't get it didn't have a sense of humour. Yeah, well, basically. people who didn't get it obviously didn't see Ryan Reynolds' video saying, for your birthday, I'll pronounce your name right. There's humour in it. Yeah. But obviously not everyone's got humour. Yeah. I wanted that pause. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that pause. Yeah. Um, but there you go. Yeah, they're great lads. They've taken over and I do think the sky's the limit. You know, I, I believe in him. Tommy, what's your thought on it? Yeah, no, I, uh, I completely agree. I think um, I think there's there's no there's no harm in dreaming, is there? You know, if you, you aim for well, the that's, Premier that's, League, that's what being a football fan's yeah, all of about. Exactly. And I mean, yeah. I mean you, you dream for your team to win and, yeah. and and have good cup runs and get promotions and all that. That's why you're a football fan. Yeah. I mean, yeah. anyone that comes to the game tomorrow, isn't it? they're not coming to the game to see Wrexham lose. Yeah. They want to see Wrexham smash five. Pe people are coming to Wrexham now going, oh, I hope one day we can be in the same league as Rochdale. 
Do you know what I mean? It's, that's not what it's about, oh, is it? Oh, like, Rochdale. Although, although at the moment, I'd take that. Yeah. <laughs> I'd take Rochdale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want to know any of your stories about Rochdale oh, away, Rochdale. mate. Rochdale. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Outside Piccadilly. Whoa, 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 pull it back. Yeah, oh, Christ. Let's hear about Rochdale. No. Come <laughs> no. no. on, your shit bag. Let's hear yeah. about Rochdale. I just don't think it's a very great place. <laughs> We've already said this is a no-hold-bars uh, <laughs> podcast, so Rochdale. No, no, nothing against Rochdale. Tell you what, on, on circuit, you know, sort of... Uh... Oh, Rochdale. <laughs> <laughs> is he, are you going to go there or you're not, no. not going to go there? <laughs> was, no. it, was, what was your favourite time in your career, Gary, apart from here, obviously? What was your favourite club that you played for, apart from Wrexham? Uh... Was it nice you can't say Chester. We we know that. You can't say Chester. It was nice to play with Tranmere. Obviously, it's a little bit closer to. Yeah, Tranmere was a big club as well. They did a big club. I knew, I knew some of the lads and all that. Yeah, Tranmere. Um, yeah, it was all right. Tranmere. Um, I like Preston. There was something about Preston, and I mean, I've always wanted them to do well. And that's another place where, like, that's a good club. All the it? fans wear the shirts in the mm. town. Yeah, they do. And yeah. they've got PP on the shirts. You know what that stands for? What's Pirates it stand for? Like that, isn't it? No. What's yeah. PP? PP. I was going to say Pussy Patrol, but. <laughs> wow, Jesus, that's on a Saturday night. No, PP stands for Proud Preston. Proud They've Preston. Got it on the shirt, yeah. But like a lot of the fans all wear the shirts in in Preston. Yeah. And like, it reminded me driving into Wrexham tonight. I mean, the yeah. fans wearing all the yeah. shirts around the town. I mean, yeah. that's 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 the way it should be. I mean, I mean. Wrexham hasn't really got a lot going for it, has it? I mean, but like the okay. football club, <laughs> yeah, you know, no, it, it, nobody hasn't has it. Yeah. Okay. No, nobody <laughs> hasn't has it. I no, mean, but like the no, football it, club is like the, the vocal the point without, club without of getting the, too deep. Of the town, isn't without it? getting too deep, you, know, you Rexham, lost all, you lost Rexham all your Lager. industry. Yeah, you, you got Wrexham Lager, yeah, but yeah. you lost all your industry. Yeah? Like the, the owners have said that, and they've said the town's seen better days. They want to bring a bit of joy into people's exactly. lives. Like, the, you know. the, the football club and the town, and ex even so much Wrexham Lager, when they're doing well, the town seems to prosper. Yeah, why not? The only reason, the only reason why, why, why Wrexham Football Club is in the news at the moment is because we've been took over by two Hollywood stars. Yeah. Mm. And so all of a sudden, we're, 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 we've got all the world's media interested in Wrexham mm. and why because the football, football club, club and the owners that have took over yeah but yeah. you know the football club the town breeds this football club and like you know you can go back through the history of the, of the club and like you would have had fellas coming out of the, the mines and the collieries going to the match yeah and yeah. I mean, it, yeah. it, 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 there's something it, romantic it, about it isn't it I, yeah, I fucking love yeah, that big time and I mean that's that's what attracted these guys to the football yeah. club as well there's a I mean, you only have to talk to people around the town, but you, you just mentioned a Saturday night then. Tell me about some of your Saturday nights in Wrexham. <laughs> well, you know what, I'll tell you, I'll tell you about, I'll tell you about it. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you one night about it, one of my nights out in Wrexham. Um, I was in Scots, and <laughs> that, was a, that, that was a famous club in, in Wrexham yeah. at the time. Got and kicked and, out of there a few times. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> the thing, when you got kicked out of Scots, it was a little metal plate in the end. Oh my yeah. God, my back's been in bits many a time. What a, <laughs> but you know what? I'll be honest with you. I could never, ever, ever pull a beard in Wrexham. Never. Why? Never. Because <laughs> I, was, I, was I was surrounded by a load of guys. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, sausage did, fest. And, did and you manage to pull one of them? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that way. <laughs> but I couldn't. I could, I, 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 yeah. Fellas just wanted to talk about football to me, and so I yeah. never got a look in yeah. with, the, with the girls or whatever. So I never, I've n I never had a Wrexham girlfriend, yeah. and I've never had one. And so if there's anyone out there, I'm sorry I'm not <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I come out of this club, and I thought, I'll do the typical thing. Get myself a nice kebab before I go back to the hotel or whatever. Yeah. I was in a hotel. So I went and got myself a kebab. And next minute, I come down at the kebab house and there's a big fight. Two guys are fighting. And I've stood there and I'm eating my kebab watching this fight. <laughs> I've got chilli sauce going all down the top. And I'm watching this fight like that. And next minute, someone shouts, there's Gary Bennett. Yeah. So these two guys stop fighting. <laughs> 
the whole crowd turned round and started singing, there's only one guy, <laughs> one guy Bennett. I'm eating this kebab, the chilli sauce is going down my shit. And then they start fighting again. <laughs> And then I walk back to the hotel. Yeah, that's and class. That's Wrexham for you. you yeah, know. yeah, that's knowledge. That's knowledge, Gary. But and don't forget, we're going to have a fight <laughs> yeah. again. Yeah, tell you what. You can be done. You're mistaken. This is, this I just love the fact that the song dies down. They go, oh, I better get back to leathering <laughs> each other then, I suppose. <laughs> but, to be fair, <laughs> but to be fair, it was a great kebab. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Was, it, was it worth the uh, the laundry bill the yeah, next day? Well, I threw the shirt away. I couldn't get them stains out of that. Because yeah, we were speaking earlier, didn't we? And we were talking, and I said, "Oh, uh, I said I was speaking to Punch and the Four Dogs," and you just burst out laughing. Yeah, didn't because you? like that, 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 that sums it up, doesn't it? I mean, I was in the Four Dogs having a pint with this guy talking about like Wrexham and the way things had happened, and but you know, that that you know, there used to be some mad nights out in Wrexham. Mad. Did you I mean, used to get oh, mobbed yeah. everywhere you went? Because at the time. Yeah. Well, you're probably the biggest face of next, weren't you? Let's I be think honest. I walked into um, I walked into the Wednesday one night and um, same again. The whole bar started singing. There's only one Gary Bennett. Standard. And then standard. They all started bowing to me in the pub and like I just stood at the bar trying to get a beer. To be fair, this will be between because after the end of the Cup United now. game, that's what you all did to the crowd, didn't you? Yeah, that's right, yeah. You well, said that before, you? Fucking, you know, <laughs> well, what am funny I doing? enough, funny enough, um, well, when we, when, we, when, we, when, we, play, <laughs> well, when we played it. United, um, sorry, before we played Ipswich, the game before. Was, was, it, was it 3 1 <laughs> or 2 1? 2 1. They scored first, didn't they? I think, and Kieran Durkin and. No, Carl we Conley. scored. We scored and they equalised. Well, we're right there. Durkin and Conley, though. Uh, Pretty sure. Kieran and Durkin. Yeah. Uh, 3-1 was Birmingham, wasn't Rest it? Rest in peace, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In and, uh, well, anyway, the, the, the week before that, we said, we've got to do a certain celebration. No one, you know, we've got to do a celebration. And I went, well, no one takes the shirt off like they do in Italy. Yeah. I said, we've got to take the shirt off. Yeah, like a rabbit and, um, So, anyway... Caden Dakin scored and um, an absolute worldy goal. Uh, yeah, God really rest his soul. Yeah, God, and, God um, bless you, Caden. And he, he didn't you. take his shirt off. And then I scored and I oh, the I shirt come off. Oh, I come straight off. And um, anyway, got a letter off the FA. You're not allowed to take your shirt off. Blah 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 and all that. And uh, he used to do it quite regularly, didn't he? And so we said when we went to Old Trafford, we'll uh, we'll bow to the fans. Uh, I thought that was a really nice touch after the game yeah, because. And, uh, but the United fans, the United fans were great. But but <coughs> like aside aside from that, um, going to the game at Manchester United. I mean, we're playing Manchester United at Old Trafford. Yeah, Eric Cantona had just had just done the drop kick yeah, on the right. Crystal Palace fans. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Into the crowd, and he was banned. And I've still got the program at home. Yeah, number I'd seven for Gary Bennett. Number seven Eric Cantona and. Uh, yeah, I was gutted he didn't play because he was like he was yeah. he was brilliant, wasn't he? Right. And so, I think it was how many does it old Old Trafford sixty thousand or whatever? I don't know. It might have been a bit reduced because well, he would. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a, now it's a, it's it's, such it's a, more now. It's a bit less. It was a bit but less. But anyway, but, but yeah. it wasn't. But well, no. anyway, there's sixty thousand fans yeah. going to Old Trafford. I'm on the team team bus going to the game. One side. Manchester United fans all walking with the shirts on. On the other side, all the Wrexham fans with the Wrexham shirts on. And I'm telling you now, I was going to say make hairs on your head stand up, but I had hair then. But like <laughs> going on the coach and looking out, and the Wrexham fans, mums, dads, kids. Fucking hell, man. We've got hairs on the back of my head thinking about it. Seriously. No, they had number seven on the shirts, mm. Bennett. And I tell you what, no feeling in the world would take that away from me. What I had going to the game, mm. unbelievable, fantastic. It's unbelievable. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, brilliant, like, if you it? think, awesome. uh, and, yeah. that, and it, it doesn't matter whether you were on two hundred pound a week or twenty yeah, thousand. Yeah. You're still on the week, same pitch. Wouldn't that you? is some feeling yeah. that you could never take away. That's when you see family and friends, not only that, my name on the back yeah. of their shirt. Yeah. What, that what was is it? Like, what was it like wow. to go one 0 up at Old Trafford, though? Well, uh, I'll never forget it. It was a massive mistake. Because they yeah, scored five. Yeah, yeah. We should have gone one nil up with like in the ninety first minute. <laughs> yeah. But like, do yeah. you know what the thing was when we ran a goal up? They never batted an eyelid. No. No panic, no, no. nothing. No. They knew they were gonna win that yeah, game. Yeah. And I mean, 
but like but to look up at the scoreboard and see yeah. Manchester United nil, yeah. Wrexham one. I remember going that absolutely. lasts forever, that doesn't it? Yeah, I was lasts going forever. Well, that's their memories. I'll take to me grave. Do you think the the modern day footballer uh, uh, still thinks like that? You know, like like you said, you look down and you're seeing it, or do you think they are more uh, almost like see, not, games, not so much the superstars? Games, the, the, the games totally changed. I mean, like like years and years ago, a footballer. Even my time, or just before, they get on the bus mm. and go to the ground and sit with yeah. the fans and go. Uh, th them days have gone. These these these, these big football stars, woof, yeah. they're they're yeah. on a different planet. Yeah. And I mean, that's why. How how unbelievable is it for like um, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhinney to, to be, be walking sat around in town. the turf yeah. and and walking yeah. around town and. It's it's unreal. It's yeah. just that doesn't yeah. happen anymore, no. or does it? No. And it's happening here in Wrexham. Yeah. It's just yeah. awesome. It's, it's unbelievable. Similar to yourself, you said about Mullen. I I think <clears throat> you bought into the crowd and you you felt it like you know what I mean. There's a romantic thing about this football club. At the fucking... No, but I think I think that they might feel exactly the same. I think Paul Mullen's already, but I think he's. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying the others don't, but. I'm saying the owners as well. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I, I completely agree. They, they definitely bought into it. But on the pitch, you see Mullen, like, I've, in this interview with you, and Wrexham was lost. And, he's, he's, and you could see he's fucking fuming. Yeah. He, yeah. He, like, he, he said in an in interview uh, today, he, he said, listen, I want to be scoring, you know, I'm happy to score. But he goes, I want to be winning. I'm here to win. Yeah, yeah that's you know the mean? main and, thing. And he's, and he, he, he means that as well. He, he fucking means, means that, it, mate. Yeah. It's like, yeah. we, you see, fans always thought Ben Hall gets a goal here. That's how we think about him. I can't remember feeling like that about a striker yeah. since. No. We, no. We've had some, we've had some good True. strikers, but no yeah. one's ever come close yeah. to him since no. he's there. No. And if anyone's going to, it's this guy. Yeah, isn't yeah it? definitely. And, and, but, he, but he's bought into it all, and you can see what it means when he fucking scores, mate. Yeah. Um, but like, you, like, 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 with, say, Paul Mullen, you can probably think, we we could go to the championship with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah with he, him. He could with be him there. Leading, you know, he, All the yeah. way through, he, he could be there, couldn't he? Well, yeah, you could think that. You know, so so. Just thinking, just thinking though, back it, you know, back when you were playing and stuff, Gary. Would the, if there if there was two or three players in that dressing room who were here for the wrong reasons, let's say, and you thought these these lads are just here to pick up a paycheck. Would would you police that in the dressing room? Would you have lads in the dressing room going, do you know what? You're yeah. you're taking the mech out of this club. I signed I, I signed for South End and we were playing Wolves. It's we were playing Gino. Wolves away. And this is my first game. And we walked onto the pitch at Wolves. And one of the players was going, bah, bah, making noises of sheep. And I said, What are you making noises for sheep for? He said, Lambs to the slaughter today, aren't we? We got B5 nil, and I went, what type fucking, of... What kind of fucking mentality is that? Yeah, and I mean, that was a shock to my system, but... Yeah. And then, that's what I'm saying about the difference of players or whatever, and I mean... It's, it's, I got, mean, it's got to come from in here, isn't it? It's got yeah. to fucking... You've got to play yeah. with... Yeah. First yeah. and foremost, you fucking play with this. And if you... if you, what you, you know, That club, whatever club it may be, you're wearing the fan's badge on your fucking chest. Yeah. yeah. So you better fucking buy. These people are paying good money. Yeah. To see you come and fucking shit out. You fucking play with this. Simple as you that. You see, I never, I never, I never entered the game till I was 22. I'd, wor I'd worked in a factory and all that, and I knew what it was like to get up early in the morning. There you go. And, and 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 don't forget these people that will, will, will be coming the game tomorrow. Um, you know they've worked all week. Mm. And, it, and, and it's like uh, and uh, yeah, they'll, they'll be they'll be spending a good pro proportion of the pay pack on watching Wrexham tomorrow and. And that's why you've got to go out and give them the, the exactly. most you can. You might win because yeah. the other team might, might, might but you, at least have a go. Fans pick up on it as well. If, yeah. if, yeah. if, a, team, yeah. if a team's lost but they've given everything, yeah, they'll do yeah. that. They yeah. will. Yeah. And Wrexham fans especially. That's uh, Wrexham fans. Yeah. I, I don't know whether it's because maybe maybe a high proportion of our fans are working class people, like you yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. they, they recognise, and I think that's where the rapport with yourself and people yeah. like that comes uh -huh. from. Do you know what my if they see a guy, they, they see a guy that's basically representing them out on the field. So, so my, if, if it comes to this club, and I didn't think someone was, but I, I, if I was a manager, I'd pull him in the fucking office, and I'd, and I'd, t I'd talk him through the Gresford Colliery disaster, and people died all because they wanted to come watch this club the next day swapping their shifts. Yeah. Now, if you can't fucking get up for that, you better fuck off to out this club. Yeah. Simple as that. Like, I don't mind getting passionate about it because I'm fucking real and mm. it's coming from here. Yeah. And that's all I want to see from a player. Mm. Simple as that. Like, listen, I have a stinking game. 
put yourself about and tackle. Mm. It, things might not be going to plan for you. It fucking doesn't always happen. Mm. I've a many stinker. <laughs> many <laughs> stinker. Oh, he's a many a stinker. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, but I've always played with this and I've always put myself about. Mm. Get different that, levels, get that. different levels, but that's the ingredients yeah. of any fucking football game. Yeah, definitely. Get that effort in, isn't it? That, you've got to get, you've got to get, ambition. you've got to get the dressing room right as well. And I mean, and that, that, that's up to the manager. I mean, you've got to get the right people in and the right characters in to get that dressing room right. You know what I mean? Mm. You can, you can, you can only have a couple of bad eggs, and they could, yeah, upset the whole apple cart. It's like a, it's a job. And when, when you go to work and all that, you're working as a team, you're working together, whether it be it's whether it be like putting things in a box or whatever and passing yeah. it to the next guy, it's a team. And it's, it's a job, but it's it's a privileged job. Now, don't get me wrong, you've got to fucking work your ass off to get there and you've got to work your ass off when you are a footballer. But still, it's a fucking privileged job because you, you're getting adored it by is. thousands of people. It is, yeah. You know, especially like yourself, you'll know more than anyone, you are fucking, you still are, you're adored in this time and you always will be. And long after you're gone, they'll still be talking about you when you played. Yeah. You know I mean, that's got you know, that must mean fucking everything to you. Well, it, it, massive part of my life, Wrexham. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> the biggest part of my life. And I mean, you know, without doubt, I'll have some ashes put on the race course. That will be fucking fantastic. And brilliant, you know, brilliant. It'll be they'll be on the cop goal, and I'd want them to spread there. And yeah. uh, you know, it, it, it massive part of my life. And you know. It's, it's my club, innit? I mean, I played for it. I, it's a massive part of me, and you know, I just want success. And like, I mean, how long have we been in this goddamn I know, yeah, I know. league? I mean, and that's it. it, it, it? It's, it's, a, it's a, you get it yourself. You're a fan as well. It's but it's not just that. It's not just that because, like, I mean, when you're talking about a football club being part of like the community, whatever, and all that, like, even on a Saturday when the results are coming out, like, Burnham Wood. One Rex and one. Then on the map. We should be like yeah. it should be like yeah. Ipswich Town yeah. two yeah. Rex and two or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. know. Uh, I get yeah. that. But 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 with 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 a football club doing well, everything else falls into place with like the community and the town and you know. I mean, if Rex and were probably. Say Wrexham were in the championship doing re really well and all that. Yeah. All of a sudden, we might be a city. Yeah, you yeah. Know, that's 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 the way it pans. But also, you, you like you look. It's it's a knock-on effect, isn't it? Like you look, the town centre now is basically a disgrace, isn't it? There's nothing ghost there town. at all. Absolute it's a ghost town. Ghost no, it town. isn't it. There's no, nothing I, I, there I agree at all. With you. I you can talk you. about different factors. Any kebab houses. No, no, there's yeah. a couple, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they, 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 they don't accept they don't accept people with stained shirts in, so you'd be no good, Gary. <laughs> sorry about that. But uh, no, but, no, it's it's a, it's a good point. I think, you, like you say, if you get a championship club here, yeah, town centre is not a ghost town. No. It's thriving, and yeah. everything for, like yeah. everything falls it into place. It, it, it absolutely does. And like it, 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 and, and it's the money that generates as well. Absolutely. And you know you don't realise, and it, it it's a massive part of like. The town is the football club, and also there's a huge difference between tomorrow. What you know? What we're we talking? Two hundred talkie tops. Two hundred tops. Top. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, you, they, they should. They should. 10, you know, it's a lot. It's a big difference to having yeah. two thousand Blackburn fans or what. You know what I mean? That's so, that's the exactly. difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it a is, massive it difference. Is, um, See, but it's like anything. I mean, I mean, now we've got these guys on board. I mean, so hang on a minute. Ryan Ryan Reynolds and Rob McAlhenny walk into. Wrexham Council, can we have a chat? We're looking at developing the cop. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All, you know, absolutely. All of a, all of a, yeah. all of a You'd sudden. You'd have Spencer Harris walking in and like, you know, they, they'd <laughs> show him the door then. <laughs> just, then like, just go, but, 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 but that, that's what I'm saying. That Can we leave sudden, that in? Can no, we leave that in? No, but all of a sudden, like TikTok. I mean, yeah. TikTok on Wrexham yeah. shirts. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Just a quick one, yeah. Gary. She'll, she'll be on a Premiership shirt. Yeah, absolutely. Not on a on yeah. the on Rex's I'm sorry shirt. to stop you while you're on a roll. Um, far <laughs> be it, hang on, far be it for me to criticise Spencer. God love him. Uh, talk us through the day. 47 goals in one season. Wrexham legend. Legend. And you get told you can't go in the boardroom because you haven't got a tie on. Do you well, think that's a Rob O'Neill? Well, I was just, I was just, I was going into the boardroom to say hello to, to like to people everyone. that worked there or whatever, and, and and just show me face and say hello, and then I got stopped by security and you need a tie on, and I said I need a tie on, yeah, orders of the uh, management, 
Uh, I've scored 47 goals. <laughs> I don't need no tie on my head. How come for no, the topless? No, but it was funny. It? <laughs> Gary, you didn't have a stained top on, did you? <laughs> no, no. I had a kebab. I had a kebab in my pocket. <laughs> and, um, I should have gone, Spencer, you give me your tie. <laughs> no, so like, and I mean, I thought, wow. And I mean, how, what a stickler that is. I mean, could you see? Yeah. Could you see Spencer? I'd have sat in the turf last night drinking aviation gin. No. You know, that's why you've got. I mean, I was annoyed because, like, you, you, you're drifting away from the fans. You know, you, you've yeah, got to all be in it together. It's, it's got to be a family is, club. It's got to be like. This is all it's, my it's, great living. It's, 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 it's the town. It's, it's everyone involved and, and in the club. Regardless you know, of you know, anything now, a working class football club like Wrexham uh, requiring a it. tie. To get into, you know, come on. That, it's that, the 20th. That, I mean, you, see, you don't even need a tie that, to get into my, a theatre in London now. That's always been my my, my gripe really? about how it ended with a trust. Let's well, not you go where we want. But that's how it, you know. <laughs> but that's that was my bugbear. That we were getting away from the club. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. those days are yeah. gone. Them days are gone. Let's those move on. Gone. Let's, I mean. let's move on. And I think, I, well, I'm really going to match tomorrow. Will I need a tie? I'm expensive for you, mate. Yeah. I'll get you a tie. Thank you. I'll make you one. Thank you. <laughs> if you want me to make you a tie, Thank I'll you. make you a tie. A kipper tie. Yeah. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's got it's got Rex and front line written on it. It's a front a front line tie. I'll yeah. have one of them. Yeah, I'll put it round my head <laughs> and run into the talkie. Look fans, like Rambo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you've just gone there, Tom. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Sorry. I'm trying to be a respectable podcast DJ. We've got to slandered. Can you believe this? Yeah. Oh, we just, we'll look no, you've always been an angel. Yeah. 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 Gary. Realistically, we all was talk about the Premier League and stuff like that, which is fucking. That's where. Where do you think this club can aim? Where, where do you think this club can? I know we're aiming for. The, where do you think this club realistically can end up? I've always thought it's a Championship club. I, 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 yeah. I both and and it has been anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. it has yeah. been yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's done that, you know. And you know the ground. Once we've sorted the cop out and all that, you know it's got the potential of of, of without doubt being in the Championship. And uh, who knows from there? I mean, we've just talked about certain clubs in the Premiership, Brentford, yeah. Swansea's and Burnley. We played them regularly. There you go. Um, yeah, I, 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 think, I think many people around this town, if not everyone, was Wrexham, uh, you know, you expect to see them in the Championship or at least, I feel I got... It's a lot of hard work though and, yeah. and you know, but, yeah. but, they, but these guys... Uh, it's achievable. It's achievable. They've got the right people around them. Like I, I think they said the other night, which I've heard them say a few times, it was brilliant. We know fuck all about football, but so we Speak get for yourself. So so we so we bring people in that do. Yeah, Rob, you know. Rob said to us, he was like, you know, everything I do, I put you know my whole heart into, mm. you I, know, yeah. and I get the people that I need to you know make yeah. it a success. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? And that's, and that's what know, he's see, doing. I you think, know, I you don't have to do the heavy I lifting yourself. I, I, I know, like um, aviation gym was a massive su success for them, and like. Um, or for, for Ryan. For, for Ryan, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it, it sold it for like good, good money and all that. But yeah. like, a football club's a totally different kettle of yeah. fish. Yeah. And it I mean, is, yeah. I mean, you know, it be an achievement. I mean, I mean, they'd be legends just to get us out of this league. Yeah, uh, And yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, that, that, and then we'll take it from there. Uh, but, you know, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to walk before we can run. Yeah. Uh, and just speaking of legends, you just, you just reminded me I need to thank PD and everyone involved in the Wrexham Legends for getting me playing on Sunday. That was that was awesome for me. Did you did you play? They had you playing. I don't know if I told you this. Well, no, I haven't seen you I since. I can't believe he's not told you this. No. But anyway, I just wanted to say, and if you get a chance to see, because you're never going to see him again. You know, I think they got a couple of games at the race course coming up. Just go and see, uh, you know. Your favourite heroes, and also I want to talk about Jim Whitley. Fuck me, still got it. Oh yeah. Well, I spoke to Jim Carl. Whitley. Carl rung me, and, and he said he said you played on uh, you played at the weekend. Here and we he go. Said, They'll phone you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. be sitting yeah. by the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny enough, I saw the same thing. Yeah. I've yeah. seen a comment, and someone goes, "Oh, did you tell me about your dive?" And I'm thinking, oh. Yeah. This is, I mean, uh, so have, I got to, have I got to teach you how to dive? Oh, well, well, <laughs> right, so anyway, I've come on for Neil Roberts now, just before half time. So fucking hell, once, and I'm in. Oh, 
fucking hell, and I've had a fucking terrible groin all week, and I just like get the ball, my fucking groin just twins. Oh, <laughs> he's one of them, isn't he? Yeah, he's one of them, isn't he? Do you you blame the grass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, funny enough, what, what, the sort of referee goes, what happened to you then? I said, that grass needs a bit of cutting down there, mate. Yeah. I said, you need to stop my grass. Yeah, but like yeah, so, so listen, oh, I went fucking flying, I did. So you know me, I fucking laughed it off. Then he was fucking calling, he's got his arms in the air, they're all fucking laughing now. And it was, it was just before half time, so we're walking in the dressing room now. The rest, the rest fucking said something to me. Yeah. I laughed it off. I said, listen, anyway, one of their players, I said, who's the groundsman? I want a fucking word with him, I said, because that's not on that. <laughs> See, but it's mad though, it's mad, it's mad with a football fan because like, a lot of football fans are like frustrated footballers. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. think they can play. Yeah, everyone's and I mean, to be a footballer. Someone plays a bad pass on a pitch. Whoa, you only had to pass it to him. <laughs> and I mean, go on, you go and do that. You know, yeah. and like, yeah. they're just like frustrated fans. Yeah. Footballers, yeah. I mean. yeah, exactly that. So anyway, I got in the changing rooms. I got a fucking rock <laughs> in the room, and it was fucking... But it was funny. It's a, it's a story to tell yeah. me. Although I how, how did you get that gig then, mate? Who asked you to go there? Because I'm a legend in Wrexham. Yeah, Wrexham well, legend, yeah, but, you know... <laughs> they, presu <laughs> presumably they wanted to win the game, did they? Or what, what was it? How did oh, it I work? can play, mate. Can you? Yeah. yeah I, think, uh, I think they were doing something, you know, like getting like uh, local people involved. You know, let's give this guy... They wanted, the other, let's let him play they wanted the other team to keep a clean sheet so they put him up front. <laughs> yeah, you know, they didn't want it to be too one-sided. Yeah, let's, yeah. Get, let's get this yeah. geezer over here. Let come on, come on, lads. Let's give Penakai a chance here. Yeah. Come on, let's that's make it, a serve. That's, that's enough about the Wrexham legends anyway. I've done there my There we go, great stuff. So who give you a mention? Swat. How long have we been going for now? About bang on, are we? Um, just before score prediction for tomorrow, Tommy, please. Um, well, we've seen it all before, we Wrexham fans. Uh, big, big game, big crowd. Uh, we're going to lose one nil. Uh, we've seen I, it all before. No, 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 no. Fucking we're going to lose one nil to no. Torquay. Tommy, it's a Friday night, and I'm on. on and all twelve here, Torquay yeah. fans will be going wild in all that right, way. Mystic. You used to work <laughs> in the Daily Post. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got positivity. Yeah. I've got positive. No. I think it's going to be three one Wrexham. I like it, Jim. But you got to believe, Beno. Wrexham can't keep a clean sheet, can they? No. Wrexham two one. I'm going to go two one. I'm going to. Mullen will get the winner. Yeah. Paul there you and go. Brace. Um, Let's go to the bookies tomorrow. We've got yeah. <laughs> Super, Super Paul. Paul well, big Mullen. thanks to everyone for watching or listening again. Um, Rob McElhenney said that to me the other night. He said, so did you watch the podcast? He said, you mean listen? I said, yeah, we kind of film it as well, but let's not go into that. But, um, <laughs> we, yeah. did, we did both. That's what we're about. Yeah, yeah, and we promise we are going to be coming up with stuff regular now. Yeah, Benny, uh, Benny, Benno, thank you very much. <laughs> Benny, Benny. Hey, hey, cheers, Benny. No problem. Cheers, thank Benny, you. mate. Yeah, it's all right. How's that? Are we That's done? Yeah. That's a wrap. Bloody hell, you've been in this game a while, haven't you? Uh, That's yeah. a kebab. That <laughs> uh, we yeah. yeah. we got yeah. far too much material out of that kebab story as well, didn't we? Less than a mile from the centre of town A famous old stadium's crumbling down Pat-downs. Now I can determine a subject's threat level without him being able to feel my retinal assessment.